Hey guys, welcome to Storytime. My name is Miss Linda, and today we are doing a very special story time with two very special guests. So this year we are having Summer at Cows, our summer long reading and event program that is happening all across the Central Arkansas Library System. The theme for this year is All Together Now, and we are talking about communities and our neighborhoods and we're talking about animals that build communities like bees and ants and things like that. So for the virtual story times for the summer, we've invited some very special guests around the Jacksonville community to come out and read some books for us. So let's get started with our super special guests from Jacksonville Parks and Rec. Hi, my name is Briley. I'm the event and marketing coordinator for Jacksonville Parks and Recreation, and today I'm going to be reading Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Mrs. Lopez, the lady with sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a, a glowing sun onto the wall, hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall, he looked at her son, and he held his fingers up in a square and peered through him. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then, just like that, he dipped a paintbrush into the paint. Bam, pow, the shadow scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I'm an artist, he said, a muralist. I paint on walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then come on. Mira dipped it in the loudest colors she saw. Wow, we, the wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then came others. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, meringue, bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced a cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party. Until... The policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her paintbrush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat and paused. May I paint with you, he asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. <music> Teachers and papas jumped in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. Color spread throughout the streets. So did joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added, one more bird way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. 
Hi, my name is Megan Tharp. I'm the event and marketing manager for Jacksonville Parks and Recreation, and today I'm going to be reading Kamala and Maya's Big Idea. You know what should be out here? Kamala asked her sister Maya. Us, said Maya. A slide, said Kamala. And a swing, Maya added. A playground, they shouted together. Kamala and Maya had an idea. It was a very good idea and a very big idea. They were going to need help. Wouldn't it be great if there were a playground in the courtyard? Maya asked. That does sound nice, Mommy agreed. How can we make that happen? Kamala asked. Well, I suppose the first step would be to ask the landlord, the person who owns the building. So Kamala wrote a letter and Maya drew a picture and they went to see the landlord to discuss their idea. The landlord thought about it for less than a second. Hmm, I don't think so, no. That was not the answer they wanted, but they weren't ready to give up. That night, the sisters tried to think of ways to turn a no into a yes. They asked the other kids in the building if they wanted a playground in the courtyard. Did they? Of course they did and they had ideas too. Let's have a teeter-totter and a basketball hoop and flowers. So Kamala wrote a longer letter and they went to see the landlord together. Dear landlord, right now the courtyard of our building is empty and no one uses it. If there were swings, kids could fly high. If there was a sandbox, kids could build. If there was a slide, kids could go so far, so fast. Can you build it please? The landlord thought about it for less than five seconds. A project this big is expensive. We don't have the money for that. Do your parents know you're here? This was not the answer they wanted, but Kamala was not ready to give up. If we ask our parents and do it all ourselves, could we fix up the courtyard? The landlord thought about it for a whole 10 seconds. Finally, he shrugged. If you can do it yourselves, sure. This wasn't exactly the answer they wanted, but it was a start. The kids all spoke to their parents about their ideas for the courtyard. They hung up posters and knocked on neighbor's doors, but they got the same answer from everyone. I'm sorry. Wow, that's a big job. Wish I could help, which they knew meant no, no, no. But then Mr. Green stopped to talk. I work construction and I could maybe get some scrap lumber and some sand for a sandbox. Really, Kamala said. Yes, exclaimed Maya. Okay, I'll try. It wasn't a yes, but right now, maybe was the sweetest word they had ever heard. Maybe gave them hope. The next weekend, maybe turned into yes. The kids all helped measure and Mr. Green cut the boards. Then they sanded and hammered and sanded some more. Then came the actual sand. They were all thanking Mr. Green when Mrs. Lopez stopped to talk. I work at a garage. Maybe they have an extra tire for a teeter-totter. Another maybe. In the weeks that followed, lots of I don't knows turned into maybes and then yeses. No one could do everything, but everyone could do something. Kamala and Maya wanted everyone to celebrate the new playground, so they made another big poster inviting their neighbors to a potluck party. There were hot dogs and hummus, spicy chicken and potato salad, strawberries and brownies and lemonade. Mrs. Flores set up a sprinkler for the kids to run through. Mr. Green brought the music. 
Kamala admired the new playground, but she noticed that there was still one thing missing. No one knew how to make a slide, but Mrs. Flores knew that where they might buy one. I teach at Emerson Elementary, and they are redoing their playground. Maybe we could buy the old slide. This was a different kind of maybe, a how can we afford that maybe? But now everyone was trying to find a way to turn that maybe into a yes. These brownies are delicious. Maybe we could have a bake sale. We can all bring toys and books and have a sidewalk sale. No one could do everyone, but everyone could do something. When the slide arrived at last, Maya and Kamala got the first ride. The landlord was impressed. I wanted to shake your hands, girls. He said, you did a good job. You all did a good job. Kamala and Maya had an idea, and it was a very good idea, and a very big idea. And with a lot of help, they made it happen. Hooray for Kamala and Maya! Hooray for the Purr sisters! What's next, Kamala? Kamala looked up and said, I'm wondering what the view looks like from the roof. The end. Hi guys, we help run special events with Jacksonville Parks and Recreation. And we have a really fun one coming up, Titans Obstacle Course. This is one of our favorite events of the whole year and the best part is it's completely free for you. Yes, you'll get to run, jump, climb, and crawl through the mud. All of this is happening at the Jacksonville Farmers Market on Saturday, August the 5th. We can't wait to see you there.